On April 1st, 2017, the popular website Reddit hosted an experiment called Place for 72 hours. The idea of Place was that each user on the site could edit a color of one pixel on one big image once every five minutes. It was kind of interesting where the image ended up, but what I found more interesting was the story of the data's evolution. I also found that the best way to understand the story of the data was to view the evolution of this 2D image in 3D. The data that you are currently seeing is the heat of each pixel. The more frequently users edit a pixel, the hotter that pixel gets. We can immediately see from the heat map data that the four corners of the grid are popular locations for edits. But what are some of the other major hotspots? It turns out people love to edit center points on patterns and symbols, and they also love editing eyes on characters. The other major source of heat is when two communities collide and fight over territory. Here you can see the German and the French flags appear on the first night of the experiment. The Germans decide it would be pretty funny if their flag invaded the French flag. So here it comes. The French, an unfortunate conformance to stereotype, beat a hasty retreat. But at that moment, the rainbow that had been bouncing all around the map hits the intersection point and outgrows the flag for the European Union. Magical. It was fun to see this little vignette played out in 3D data, but the heat also revealed some things that wouldn't normally be obvious. For example, I noticed this particular heart remained hot long after the rest of the hearts had grown cold. It wouldn't be obvious looking at just the color or just the heat alone that this particular heart was significant, but it was. Eventually, I realized its significance when I dialed the map all the way back to the beginning. This heart was the first heart. The community was fine with allowing all the other hearts to be altered, but they wanted this one to stay pristine. The 3D data is full of little stories like this, I had so much fun finding them that I ended up adding several other visualization modes. Here you can see longevity mode, which sorts the oldest to youngest pixels on the board. People also seem to like this mode, which allows users to see a cross section of the data over time like the rings on a tree. I offered the source for this visualizer to the public on GitHub, and the response was far stronger than I expected. Already multiple people have forked the project and added their own features, and a simple GIF I posted of the viewer made it onto the front page of Reddit overnight. In my career, I've seen a lot of people struggle with finding the appeal of 3D data visualization, and I myself struggle with seeing the value of virtual reality. What makes it all come together in my mind is when we apply new interaction models. The 3D visualizer has to be interactive to work because we ultimately only ever see in two dimensions, and interacting with three-dimensional data using a two-dimensional interface is still very unintuitive. But when you combine 3D visualizers with head-mounted displays and 6 off controllers, the interaction becomes simple and natural. Now that we have these missing pieces of the puzzle, I genuinely believe in the future of 3D data visualization.